I'm fit. I'm fit. I'm fit. I'm fit. I'm fit. I'm fit. And I'm not. Up competition. Was... <laughs> All right, let's just start out with this. All right, fitness history. So my strategy going in will be to use the fitness knowledge that I do know and try to use that to, you know, um, influence other people and definitely show that I'm knowledgeable, but also not do too much. I don't want to come off too knowledgeable as if I just, you know, study the night before. Um, so basically, I started my fitness history um, in high school. I played football. From there, I've always had some kind of relationship with working out. I am of Nigerian descent, so naturally we are mm -hmm. leaner. What do you weigh? 230. Damn. Yeah. Unit. Damn, dog. Yeah. If you're 230, like yoked, you are one big <laughs> dude. <laughs> I mean, but, but you. Nigerian genetics, though, but usually they're smaller. Really? Uh, they're very lean. They're oh, lean, lean wise. In, yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're tall. Like they're tall and athletic as hell. That's great. You guys know that. Guys, I'm um, David. Um, I'm 6'3. I'm a men's physique competitor. Are you IFBB or is that a different thing? Um, no, so I've done three different organizations and competed in the NPC. NPC? Okay, gotcha. Mm -hmm. Gotcha, gotcha. He's an NPC. Wow. He's an NPC. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. My fitness history, this is Cody, by the way, fellas. Um, I started about two years ago. Uh, because my son was born, I saw myself overweight, looked at myself in the mirror, and I was like, I gotta do something about this because I want my son to see me as a superhero, and I wasn't that. I started about two years ago. I first started with crash dieting. I lost 50 pounds. I got down to 210, and I have now bulked up to 230. Some big dudes on this stage. Jeez. Yeah, that's what <laughs> I'm thinking, like, <laughs> holy shit. Growing up, I was kind of a fat kid. Well, my, my dad got diagnosed with diabetes when I was like younger. And then when I was in high school, my mom got diagnosed with diabetes. And I was like, oh dang, I might get diabetes. I don't want to stick a needle in myself. Uh, right now, I'm kind of like in a party mini bulk mode, so I'm not like, <laughs> I'm not I've a I've never straight heard of bulking be called it. partying. That I rocks. never heard <laughs> that. My story is completely different. I'm just going to be completely transparent. I was like trying to be like a big bro kind of guy in college and it was just kind of cringe. I was drinking a lot, uh, doing a lot of stuff and um, I got humbled really badly by this one girl in college and um, I got friend zone and I was just, she ended up like going for an even bigger douche than I tried to be Ooh. in college and then I realized like, damn, damn, I don't even, I'm not even really that person. Like I'm like imitating something I'm seeing. I slayed myself for like my last year of college and just started like lifting weights like crazy. I'd be, I'd be more on the peeled side. I'm not very like bulky, but like I'm uh, pretty cut. That's what I'd say right now, so. Um, what would you say your body fat is? Uh, probably around like six to 7%, I'd say. That's pretty, that's pretty fair. Damn. Um, gonna, uh, how long have you been training? Uh, about two and a half years. I started my last year in college and then up to now. Question for you, do you have a coach? No, so I, I, I'm, lifting pure, I'm lifting for myself, bro. So, you, so it's all self-taught? Yeah, pretty you, much. Yeah. You don't you're, compete or anything? No. You're six percent body fat without a coach? Six six to eight. 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 Oh, yeah, yeah. Six to eight. Obviously, I'm not six percent. <laughs> and for me, it's a very, very big struggle. And for a lot of people, a lot of men, it is. And so when he mentioned that he was six percent and that's what he is on maintained on a regular basis, that was a big red flag for me. Miles was also a red flag for me because one of the first things that he said was he was casually six to eight percent body fat. I find it very hard to believe, especially when he said he only trained for a year or two. I started getting nervous when he asked about body fat percentage because I had a number in my head. When Miles said he was six percent, I immediately was like, no, I'm gonna attack him just like everybody else is. What's up, y'all? My name is Travis. Um, my fitness history started because I just wanted to look like a sick Dude, I was just like, oh, oh God. Oh, get him out of all here. Right, all right, all right. Get him out of here. He's done. I'm not necessarily saying I look like a sick bro. Oh, my. That was your goal. God. I'm trying my damnedest. Just look like a sicko naked, man. Just, like, be stoked when I'm looking in the mirror, you know? Um, are you, are you no, like, 20? Dude, dude remind yeah, me. He, 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 he must be early 20s, bro. He, he must be early yeah. 20s. Man. Classic metaphor. It is better to be a warrior in a garden than it is to be a gardener in a war. That's it, man. You watch too much Joe Rogan. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, did the fat guy say that? Bro, what does that have to do so, with so My fitness journey started about 12 years ago. Uh, I used to be the fat kid in grade school. And then when I got to high school, I lost all this weight to try to fit in. Then at 20, I came out of the closet and I was known as a twink. So based on society, I had to gain weight. So since then, uh, when I was about 20, 21 years old, I started to just eat everything that I can get my hands on. Is anyone planning on like taking anything later, like Anavar, D-Ball? I'm trying to keep my, my organs healthy and everything. So uh, the only thing I'm looking at is to 
go on a higher dose of test at some point with Primo. That's I'm on test and it's it's wonderful. Why do you do tests? Yeah. Just because I've always been so insecure of being so skinny and I wanted to put on the weight and look good. And it's very helpful. It's like I said, it's very hard for me to put on weight. So how has it affected you? Like what's been the result? You, you mentioned you just kind of started. Not, not, yeah, to, so not, not to come out south. You said that you were chunkier prior in school and then you came out, right? Yeah, so when I was okay. little, when I was like elementary, beginning of middle school, I was chunky. When I got to high school, I realized I'm the fat kid. So then you now you have trouble gaining weight? Not because of the test, but if I wasn't on the test, I would. But you were don't. chunky when you were little, right? Yes. But now you have issues gaining weight. Yeah, aren't many people chunky when they're little? I'm sorry, this doesn't make any sense. <laughs> so I'm let me get, let me let me get this your, straight. Your, 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 your genetics would stay the same. So if, if you were genetically prone to getting chunky when you're little, you'll be genetically prone to getting chunky when you're old. It's no, not necessarily that's true. Not true. I, that's the way that's I feel. I was I was that way when I was when I was younger. I was able to gain a lot of weight if I wasn't watching what I was doing, and it's the same way for me now. The real problem with this story is that you don't need tests just to like, just because you take tests doesn't mean you're gonna look good. So no. right off the bat, well, that, you have that to work sounds, out to gain it. Right, if you're taking what tests, I'm saying is you're saying, heavier. you'd even say to gain muscle, you said to gain weight, like this doesn't, I don't know. Mm. That just doesn't really make sense. I take tests okay. to okay. lift heavier and I do when I look good. Okay. I thought I had a pretty good sense of who was the mole, but um, it was funny because obviously like I know what I look like and I wake up to it every day and I, I feel great. So um, I kind of just more so laughed it off. When I heard Miles talk about his 6%, how skeptical everybody was, I just jumped on the bad one again. Just really happy that it wasn't me. Hold on, pause the episode. It's time for your one minute workout. And squat. Oh, my God. oh, what's wrong? Uh, I slipped on a puddle of sweat at the gym yesterday and hurt my dang tailbone. Seriously? Same thing happened to me. Huh. Sounds like you two could use Morgan and Morgan. Morgan and Morgan? They specialize in a wide range of personal injury cases and they've won thousands of big cases. And they fight for the money that their clients deserve. There's a reason why they're America's largest injury law firm. Just recently, Morgan and Morgan has secured verdicts of $12 million in Florida and $26 million in Philly. That's up to 40 times the highest insurance offer. I'm telling you, your case can be worth millions. This guy I worked with went to Morgan & Morgan after he got into a car crash. The other guys tried to get him to settle for 300,000, but Morgan & Morgan took it to trial and secured him $8 million. The best part, it's all free unless you win your case. If you've also been a victim of a personal injury or any other serious accident, you can visit www.forthepeople.com slash jubilee found in the description below to start your free claim today. Or you can scan the QR code on your screen on your phone's camera. Thanks to Morgan Morgan for sponsoring this portion of the episode. Wow, that sounds great. I think I'll hit them up. Yeah, me too. Whoa, wait guys, wait, wait, wait. I just need one minute for the workout. Guys, what about the workout? All right, um, I have to bring this up, and I don't mean to call you out, David. You said you, you have your, you, you do shows, mm -hmm. right? Correct. How long have you been working out again? Uh, uh, going on 12 years. 12 years. How old are you? 25. 25. Damn. <laughs> wow. 13 year old just yacked out. You, you're, you're natural and you're in competition? Yeah. N NPC is natural comp, right? Like, that's the whole no. thing. No, it's, no, it's not. not. No, the, MP the NPC is you can compete against guys who are. Not not natural, but I also compete in the OCB at IMBA. Are you in men's both. classic physique? No, I'm just men's physique. Okay. So I compete in a natural organization, which I'm drug tested, and I compete against guys who are not drug tested in their organization. What was your last uh, test level? That sounds stupid, bro. What was my last test levels? Yeah, you said you get tested. So what was your? I can tell you my last test levels right now. I, I'm natural. I don't take anything. You, you said you get tested. For I haven't competed in over two years. Oh, okay. What's your body fat? I know it's closer than six percent than the other guy. Closer to 6%, you said? Yeah, definitely really? closer to 6% than the other guy. Mm. So when you said closer to 6%, are you saying you're underneath 10? Yeah. And you haven't competed in two years, but Correct. you're staying underneath 10? Correct. That's not that crazy. I'm definitely underneath 10. I've never competed or anything. Okay. I've, I've done six shows. You I'm, said not, I'm not going to lie. I came into this because I know Jubilee's smart. So I came into this going to be suspicious of any bodybuilders <laughs> and any coaches. So Your strategy is you're suspicious of bodybuilders? And Ju people? Jubilee's not, they're, they're smart. So they're going to hire somebody that's knowledgeable of the industry. If someone that knows 
Oh, like the fat guy? So somebody, so it's harder so for the, us to the fat guy is going to be most likely somebody that knows a decent it, had, it was an ex bodybuilder or coach that yeah. doesn't want to Possible. work, you know, that just doesn't want to be in that space no more. Yeah. So they they let themselves go, they're overweight. I'm, I could be you, I, but I, I am far away from that. <laughs> I've far only away been working out for two years. So. Could we go down the line and say like how easily you sweat? So I guess it depends on like what I'm doing. I'll say walking on the treadmill for about 10, 15 minutes gets my heart going. And then I'm able to get into some warm up sets. And by that time, I'm sweating a little bit. So it kind of depends, like, what are you talking about, like a drenching sweat or kind of like a warm up, like, I don't are know, you like, a sweater? Am I a sweater? Yeah, do you sweat easily? Do I sweat easily? No, I wouldn't say so. It takes, a while. It takes some time for me to. to Interesting, brother. I said that because, uh, so kind of contrary to popular belief, more athletically inclined people actually, again, to kind of maintain homeostasis, I need to stop using stupid buzzwords and I'm gonna get canceled <laughs> using them incorrectly probably, but. No, you're not the mole. But yeah. <laughs> well, it all depends, But yeah, right? to maintain so, homeostasis, no, more athletically inclined bodies do typically sweat way before uh, like bigger, heavier bodies. So my homie but, Richard on the end said, nah, I'm not a sweater, bro. I'm a little, a little sussed out. And I mean, yeah. oh, so what But it do? depends on what you're doing too. So I, I mean, that's all I was asking, but you were like, I'm hitting the treadmill, I'm warming up, and then I'm kind of sweating minutes. a little bit. Walking on the yeah, treadmill for 10, so let's get the times right. Travis, right? <laughs> you brought up the question, Travis? Yeah. Um, I have a question for Richard. Yes, sir. Richard, what are the three main compound lifts? Like the biggest, the big three? The, whole, the holy trinity. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, squats is okay. one. Good. Um, I would say... Taking too long. <laughs> yeah, I see. I'd say anything with like your back. Well, let's go sort of back. Okay, so like lats. Uh, I do lat pull, uh, lat pull down mm. is good. Richard's tubby, man. Okay, so, <laughs> <laughs> so I never really got into like, as far as like following like a exact regimen. Like I said, like I'm very just straightforward. Like as, I do as back- As a football player though. Yeah. 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 As, as a football player though. Yeah, squats, power cleans, I was doing all that stuff, but yeah, I don't do okay. that now. Because... Everyone getting into weightlifting knows to yeah. be big, the, the big three though. Uh -huh. Right. Because that's, okay. like, that's the fair. first thing you learn. That's fair. He couldn't answer my question. Bro asked me about the Trinity compound lifts, and I literally draw a blank. Yeah, the Holy Trinity, everyone knows, you know, well, if you're getting into like bodybuilding and weightlifting, everyone knows the three biggest compounds are deadlifts, squats, bench press. I couldn't think of any other ones. So I knew that for sure was probably gonna be the beginning of my downfall. Judging a book by its cover, it's kind of outdated when you could judge someone by their love print. I feel relieved, that's one for sure. And uh, the experience was uh, kind of anxiety inducing, uh, but also fun. But no, definitely more relieved now that it's finally like over, for sure. If everyone feels confident that you already caught the mole, you can end the game now. But if the majority has doubt, the game will continue. Please raise your hand if you want to continue playing the game. Okay, so I would, I would describe myself like, you know, my family genetics blessed me with white shoulders, but it has cursed me with storing more body fat on my lower waist. I would say I have a decent physique. I would, it's not the greatest, it's not where I want to be. Um, I am pretty built. I have some nice shoulders, arms, etc. cetera. Um, my core, it has slight fluff over it with typically around two to four abs showing. I, ha I do have st bottom stomach chunk, but that's typical between 10 to 15%. Uh, completely shredded. I believe if I'm not wrong, I'm the only one on the stage that's on testosterone. So, uh, completely shredded. You have a horrible memory. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what I am uncomfortable with, and probably my biggest insecurity, are my legs because they're the toughest for me to thicken out. Um, I'm pretty lengthy. I'm tall. My limbs are extremely long. Mm -hmm. I have striations from my shoulders to my chest to my triceps. Um, vascularity from forearms all the way up to pecs. Uh, how would I describe my physique? Uh, peeled to the f bone. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, I'm probably like a David Lane, if you guys know that guy, like Gymshark athlete. I have pretty defined abs. I'm probably sitting at like, no one's asked me like my f <laughs> height, weight, or body fat or anything. You're pretty believable. Sure. Um, yeah, you, you're definitely, <laughs> you, you definitely got Or you're it. just very smart. I just got a shit. crazy round build, but I'm obsessed with fitness and fitness. But no, <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I'm probably like 7%, 7.5, 8, 8%. 
Um, stay like yeah, that year round. I, I guess I'm the fat one here, huh? <laughs> I'm, I'm, oh, I'm, I'm that, shit. shit. It for us. Dude, that's a good point. I was saying this whole thing is kind of bringing about a, a general question of how do we define fat versus fit. Also, yeah. you know, that like, might be 50. That's a great. That's a great, that's a great, great point. Like I was, I, I would consider myself prior to starting my journey two years ago. I was definitely fat. I didn't look too horrible in shirts. I definitely had a rounded out face. I definitely had a lot of gut, no visible abs, no nothing. I don't think necessarily abs dis define fit. Mm -hmm. um, I would more so say like the size of your arms, like the, the look of your arms, your chest and shoulders really is what I would look I, at. I, I agree and I, I hate to intrude on that, but I think abs is not defined fitness at all, like the fit look. Agreed. I believe like if you're wearing clothing and you fill in your clothing very Yeah, well, I don't know if you saw me, but I was trying like, uh, 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 trying to get a word in, but I'm drowned out by all the noise because everyone's like, they, they, they were just going like yapping and going at each other. And I'm like, can I get a word in guys? But I never got a chance. To. Do we want to objectively define what we think fatness is here? Like numbers wise? Like I said, I'm 14, 15%. I wish I, wish I was like, 12 at least, but eh, it is what it is. All right, I think we have our answer. Which is what? Well, when we vote, well. Oh. Okay. What did I say? Where did I go wrong? Did they just vote me out just so they could vote someone out because everyone was like, yeah, we messed up. <laughs> we continued the game and we were not supposed to, so. I strictly voted for Denzel, and I don't feel like round three was super productive either. Um, I voted Denzel out because he made a noise right after we continued the game like he wasn't wanting to continue, so that's why I voted him. All right, we're gonna continue. When I got voted out when I heard my name, I was like, it did be like that. <laughs> Please raise your hand if you wanna continue playing the game. If the lights turn green, that means you have voted the mole out and you win. If the lights turn red, that means the mole is still in the box and you lose. One, two, three. You guys voted the mole hey, out. Yes. 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 Can Good we job, up guys? Up I'm trying to Good shit, fellas. Good shit. Trying, I can't see you, but I'm going to just put it with this back. Are you guys smacking Whoa, this guy's yoked. Jesus I'm, I'm out of the loop over here. What up, gang? What up, what up, what up, what up dog? So, on the count of three, please take your blindfolds off. One, two, three. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Get out. All right, so I did my best to, uh, you know, try and uh, weasel my way in here, but um, to be honest, I do have a fitness background. So, in 2018, I. First of all, let me start off, I've been a big kid my whole life. Uh, my heaviest weight was 450 pounds when I was, how old was I, uh, 28 years old. Sorry, my weight loss journey because uh, someone close to me told me, you know, with tears in my eyes that I was gonna die. And uh, it hurt really bad. So I started uh, literally just working out from my house because I was too ashamed to go to the gym. Literally just picked up dumbbells and just went to town. I lost 100 pounds in eight months. 2020 hit, super depressed because of the pandemic, gained some weight back, started keto. Dropped all the way down from, I think I was like 360 to the time, to 273. In 2021, um, I hit a plateau, could not lose weight anymore uh, at all. Sucked, mentally, just it literally like f***ed my brain up. So I just started going back. And this is me now trying to find my way back to my lowest weight, which was 273. You gotta, you gotta do the carb cycling to keep the, it in your body and then flush it out. You know, keep right. pushing. Mm -hmm. But you'll get there, just keep pushing, man. Don't give yeah. up on it, don't give up. The fitness journey to lose weight, to gain muscle, to be in that mindset, it's it's very, very difficult. You have your ups and you have your downs, and the only way you lose is by giving it up. And that that's that's the biggest thing. And he, he's he's gone a lot of places, and he can keep going further as long as he keeps his head in the game. Just take your time, enjoy your journey, and just be proud of the progress that you've made. Because the progress that Richard has made, losing over 200 pounds, that's more impressive than what I've done as a competitor. Fitness is obviously something that's important, but it comes in all different shapes and sizes. Looking at those guys was definitely like a reminder to myself, like, hey, like you could also be in the best shape of your life if you work hard. We're doing this. Oh, all the, there you go. You got it. <laughs> yes, money. Oh, we're doing the money. Yes, money. <laughs> Look at those fing triceps. Uh, insane. I'm gonna poop. Hurry up. <laughs> <laughs> all, right. all right, cool. That's a cut.